Uh, as much as I can. Uh, you know, spend time with him after practice. I thought he did a really good job today. I know he, some of the plays he had never even heard before when he was in the huddle, so there's some explaining to do, but uh, no, I thought he did really well. It's definitely a little spark for us, that's for sure. And was that something during in the huddle? Did you have to like give him a quick reminder on the all the plays he was in there? Not all. I mean, not all. He's a smart guy, so he's picking up pretty quickly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, a couple little things here and there, but like I said he did a good job today. I thought uh, you know, there, there's some bright spots with him. Are you aware of you know, maybe like New Orleans or 2019 where we have to put up points and then along with that, how frustrating it is to come on you know, field goals and not putting the end of the road? Yeah, I mean, you said it right there. I thought, uh, especially early on in the first half, just you know, getting those field goals instead of touchdowns, I thought that was a big difference. Uh, just momentum and things like that. We knew it going into this game that we had to score touchdowns and match with these guys, and just we didn't. And I think that with the combination of the turnovers and penalties, that's the result you're going to get. Uh, they zeroed us. Just tried to throw, uh, throw it to George. Left it short there. And, uh, yeah, the guy made a play. I didn't even see it, but just left it short. That was the kid Yeah. It's not the first time that you guys have spoken to us about stopping Patrick Williams. What's your first step? I know we found that just button the press to eliminate it, but what, what steps do you take going forward? Uh, I think it starts in practice. I think uh, the way you practice, how you play, and so I uh, just can't let little things slide like that in practice and. You know, I don't know if all that stuff happens in practice, but I think that's a starting point for it. Like you said, there's no magic guy, uh, no magic trick to it. It's just hard work and guys doing the right thing and doing it right longer than the other team. I think that's that's a big part of it. Do you feel like there's not accountability in the locker room? Yeah, I think we got the right core guys, especially to hold people accountable and just we got to stay together right now. You know, it's a tough time and obviously, you know, tough loss. Never like to lose games in this league, but just the way we did today, uh, we just got to stick together right now. I mean, you're obviously frustrated after any loss, um, but you got you know you got to take it in stride. We're only you know three and four right now. Uh, there's a lot of football left to be played, so don't want to hit the you know, panic button or anything like that right right now. And just got to keep plugging away. You know, there's a lot of football left in the season. We can make make some noise here. It's hard to compare, you know, just different team, different players, a lot of different coaches too. Um, you know, you go back and you just retrace those memories. I think pulling from that and seeing, you know, what got us out of that rut we were in last year, I think has some application, but it's a different season. It's just, uh, we just gotta go back to work, man. I mean, it's, this stuff ain't easy. It ain't for everybody. So we just gotta go back to work, man. I think we got the right guys for it. Two more guys are talking to trade for Christian. What was your reaction to that? And what I, I was fired up, um, you know, bringing in a player like that, and not not to take anything away from our running backs either. I mean, we got stable backs back there, and they all are capable of doing great things. But just adding another guy, another weapon like that, like Christian, uh, I think it can only make us better. And, you know, competition's always good there. Last one, Cam here. Two and zero, like game. I mean, every, yeah, but there is a part of that. Um, you like to win every game. We're just we're competitors, you know. Division obviously is very important. Those games count a little bit more, but as competitors, you want to win every game. You go out there, you put your best foot forward, you put all this work in throughout the week, and you know you grind through it. You want to have a good result at the end. But yeah, these division games definitely uh, do carry a little bit more weight. So we got to be ready to go this next week. All right.